Hey guys, so um, I wanted to make a video just answering some of these questions that I get um, asked all the time. Um, so um, I guess I'll just jump right into it because there's not really that much to say about that. Um, so the question that I get asked a lot is, is Holly Brooke your real name? And yeah, um, so my real name is Holly and Brooke is just my middle name. Um, it's just easier than giving out my last name and um, yeah it's not a secret alias or anything I'm not nearly cool enough to have an alias um, so Hollybrook is my real name um, another question I get asked quite often is um, when did you start cosplaying and if I had to give a straight-up answer I would say 2009 and um, I mean, that's when I, I first went to a convention in costume, and um, I don't know, it was, it was pretty much after that that I, I started sewing costumes specifically to attend conventions and was actively cosplaying. Um, but, I mean, I've been playing dress up and sewing costumes and having elaborate costumes for Halloween and stuff like that for pretty much ever. My mom is a seamstress, and um, I was born in October, so I was in costume by the time I was two weeks old. <laughs> um, but I didn't start attending conventions, and I wasn't active in like the cosplay community. I didn't know anything about any of that, really, until 2009. So that's when I would say I started cosplaying. Um, but, yeah. Um, another question I get asked often is, how did you start cosplaying? Um, so, like I said, my mom is a seamstress. And my grandmother also sews quite well, and um, my dad is an uber dork, so he is really into, like, Batman and Star Wars and sci-fi movies in general. Uh, had a big influence on the nerd things that I find interesting, definitely. My sister's also a big dork, though. Um, so it was kind of a, a perfect storm sort of situation where we had seamstresses and we had dorks, and... Um, that's how you get a cosplayer, I guess, and, um, so I, I started, you know, playing dress up, and my mom was sewing me crazy stuff for Halloween, um, I started sewing my own clothes in high school, because I really liked to sew, um, but didn't really have an excuse to sew, and then, um, started making my own costumes, and then found out about conventions, and then pretty much the rest is history. Um, another question I get is do I make my own costumes? And I think that that's a really good question because there's like this weird stigma of if you don't make your own costumes, you're not a real cosplayer. And I have to say I disagree with that. Um, I do make all of my own costumes, but you know, when I first started out, I didn't make everything on my own. I did ask my mom for help and I did buy pieces and I did do things to, you know, make the costume that if I couldn't make it and I still wanted to, you know, dress as the character, then I didn't know how to make it, I'd buy it. Um, but I've, you know, grown over the years to make a lot of stuff I never thought I'd be able to make. So I think it's it's not fair to put people down for, you know, um, commissioning things and, and buying things and wearing them um, when they first get started. And, you know, as long as they're always giving credit where it's due to whoever made it and stuff like that, then I think that's fine. And I even still, like, I work with Kuroga Forge, who's Keith. He's my good friend. He makes a lot of my props. I've known him since we were, like, in first grade. His mom was one of my teachers at one point. And, um, yeah, so I, I love his prop work. And he makes stuff that I'd, I'd not be able to make it nearly as well as he can. And, and it's fun to work with somebody else and have somebody else be excited about your costumes, too. So um, I don't think there's anything wrong with commissioning. Um, but it is really fun and really satisfying to be able to make your own stuff. So I do recommend, you know, pushing yourself in and seeing if you can make a piece you didn't think you could make. Um, and lastly, um, what is my favorite costume? So it's always um, fun to finish a costume and like right now my favorite costumes are Batgirl and Layla and Samus and but those are like some of my newest costumes too and so this pretty much always happens with me. I get really excited about my newest costume and I'm like in love with it. I'm like it's finally happening. I finally finished my costume. And, um, you know, I have that period, though, for every costume I've ever made. So they're all a favorite at some point. And um, 
and I really enjoy making all of them and, and there's nothing better than finally finishing your costume and putting it on and being like it's done it's finally done and it's great so my newest costume is always my favorite costume alright guys so I hope that answered some questions <laughs> or maybe you didn't want to know the answers to any of this um, so I hope you didn't waste your time. Alright, bye guys.